Hi and welcome to a Phil Quick tutorial for alarm technicians and specifically doing ADT functionality. In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you exactly how to log into your Phil Quick site, take a look at your account on the dashboard, and then also to find out if the salesperson did the e-contract already, and if not, how to do that part, then put the account online with ADT. Once you log into PhilQuick, you're going to see your jobs that you're supposed to be installing for today. You'll even see tomorrow's jobs. But for this job that we're supposed to install today, as you see, wireless install for Mark Almighty. So when we click on this, what's going to happen is it's going to bring us over to the customer's account page. You can scroll through and see exactly the address that you're supposed to go to to install the job. Perhaps you want to get over there from your smartphone device and um, you should just have Google Maps show you exactly how to get there. Click on view address on the map here and instantly it'll take you directly over by clicking on the directions button and that will take you exactly over there but now let's just say you show up to the job site and you want to do the rest of the ADT stuff so when here on the upper right hand side you will see an ADT link button when you click on this ADT link button you're gonna see how far the salesperson got in this process as you see there's a green check mark beside step number one and of course our goal is to get steps two steps three and steps four fully completed if the sales rep already did steps two and three for you this would mean that he generated the e-contract and that is completed so all you would do is step four but in this case there's no green check mark beside step two and no green check mark beside step three so of course we got to start with the step number two which is the order page and it's very simple let's start from the top here you will see the dispatch agencies you just push the get dispatch agency button and it'll automatically pull your police paramedic and fire numbers click on the accept button to auto fill it here it's going to show you the basic monitoring with maintenance package is what the sales rep submitted to you so it will tell you ADT's recommended rates and it'll also tell you over here what the sales rep is requesting 33.99 let's select it this means it's going to shell it with ADT as $33.99 which we now call confirming the order with ADT under the panel just select the appropriate panel you're going to be installing and of course if you're using a basic monitoring with maintenance make sure you don't tag a panel with a GSM and if it's ever a panel that is not compatible with the actual service plan itself the package itself you'll see an error directly underneath here now next we're going to go to the billing method and let's just say the visa on file that the sales rep have put and now we're going to be generating the e-contract the e-contract is very simple if let's just say your you have your device already open like your iPhone your Android your tablet that you're opening fill quick with and doing this on what you'll do is you'll just select your dealer license number and then here you put the customers phone number in and the reason why you're putting the customer's phone number is he's going to get a confirmation code from DocuSign that will allow you to move forward in generating the e-contract. By the way, if you're emailing the contract to the customer, you will not even need to put the customer's phone number in here. And there are two different signing methods. They can sign it, they can have DocuSign text them a code or call them. Normally people like to just have DocuSign text them a code. So I click on create the order and now as you will see step number two is completed. Okay so now let's go to step number three and here on step number three you'll be able to choose how you want the customer to sign. Do you want them to sign right now on the device you're currently logged into PhilQuick with or would you like to email the contract to the customer? Let's just say the customer says you know what I don't mind signing it right now on your device just go ahead and select that and click create contract.
Next, it's going to populate this page where it's going to say, are you sure you want to send that SMS code directly to this phone number over here? Let's choose send SMS code. And when I do this instantly, within a second, you will get a text message. Well, your customer would get a text message with that code. Looking at my phone, I already got that. And the code number is 021969. Enter that in and click confirm code. And as you see, DocuSign opened up. Let's allow access to the location. Click on I agree. And then next to click continue. So here's the e-contract. The best part about the e-contract is the customer is the only person who signs in all the right spots. So let's click on initial right over here. And it will put the customer's information there. You can just click adopt and sign. The customer would actually click adopt and sign, adopt and sign and next, 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 adopt and sign, adopt and sign. And that's it. When done, hit finish. But before going into that, just one main thing I want to, pop you, uh, to, to mention to you is, as you know ADT's rules, there always has to be a minimum of $99 showing on the account. ADT does not mind if it's $99 for an installation or if it's $99 minimum for the panel or any equipment. There has to be a minimum of $99 showing on this schedule of protection. So when you're done, hit the finish button and automatically it'll bring you back into FillQuick. Okay, so we're back in FillQuick. We're almost done. We completed steps one, we completed steps two, and as you see, the status over here is showing in process. DocuSign takes about 20 seconds to actually pull the contract back into FillQuick. So we actually have a little refresh button over here you can click on, and you will see when the status switches to completed. Now that it's completed, you just go over to step number four. Okay, so the last step in the process is to confirm the order. When you push this confirm order button, it's going to get you your account number and receiver number. Now, do keep in mind, the only time you would come to step number four and confirm the order is when you're certain this install is getting installed. So you don't do it before you show up to the customer's house. You do it when you knock on the customer's door, they allow you into the house, you're installed installing the panel and you want that account number and receiver number. And the reason why is it's super simple to change around anything that might be changed before this step. So once you're certain the install is getting installed and everything that was mentioned to the customer is going to be installed, click on confirm the order and this will automatically get your account number and receiver number. Okay, that's it. You're done. Congratulations. You can now trip the system and send the signals to ADT via the panel and how you typically install the job. And uh, ADT already has, will have the information pushed over to them. No other steps are needed from this point. Thank you very much. And that concludes this video tutorial.